Okay, good morning. Morning. Let's start. Today we will continue our lesson that was that was talking talking about adding and subtracting rational expressions. Yesterday we said that I want to add or subtract any rational expression. I have to do the same steps as they are numbers. The first things that we did, we found the least common multiple. And then we then use the least common multiple to add the rational expressions. Now, uh, today now we learn how can we subtract the rational expressions. We have to do the same steps as we did in the adding expressions, but instead of adding, you have to subtract. Let's do the first of oh, this problem here. What is the difference of the two rational expressions in simplest form? The first step here, find the least common multiple. So the first step you have to do, find the least common multiple. Now, yeah, here uh, there's, I think I want to add it to you that the least common multiple of the denominator, I can rewrite it as least common denominator. Here, yesterday, I didn't tell you, let's find the least common denominator. I told you, let's find the least common multiple because it's an expression. But if I want to find it for the denominator, I will rename it as least common denominator. Now let's start. The denominators here are x squared minus 2x and 2x minus 4. Then let's take x as a common factor, so it will be x minus 2. Let's take 2 as a common factor, it will be x minus 2 also. So the least common denominator here, it will be the common are x minus 2 and x and 2. So I will now prepare my bag okay. and then try. Yes? Uh, teacher, there's some other flip. Oh, okay. There's no notification here. What is wrong? Now, so I will put now inside my bag here, I will put two uh, times x times x minus two. This is my bag and inside it, I will put the least common denominator. Then back. So after we find the least common denominator. Now let's do rewrite now our functions. The first step, it is x plus two, uh, sorry, the first one, it's x plus two over two minus x over two. I try to simplify it. Minus x plus two over two times x minus two. Then I will go now and bring my bag and I will check at the first or look at the C, the first denominator. The first denominator and I will go and I will ask him and from here. I will come here now and I will ask him, what did you have? He told me that he had two and he have x minus two. And he needs x. So, okay, I will multiply x here and x in the with the denominator and also with the numerator. 
So now, x times x plus 2 over 2x times x minus 2. I will repeat. Here we have 2 and x minus 2. They, oh, the first denominator, they have it. So I will give him only x. The second one here, we have x plus 2 over 2 times x minus 2. But if you look here now, he told me that he have x minus 2. He have 2. No, here I made something wrong. Here it was x. Sorry. Here. It is x times x minus 2. Okay. So, here I will check. They have x minus 2. They have x, he needs 2. So I will multiply by 2 here and up also by 2. So it will be 2x plus 4 over 2x times x minus 2. Minus. Let's see here now. You have 2. They have x minus 2, but he didn't have x. So I multiply the denominator and the uh, numerator with x. So it will be x squared plus 2x, if I distribute them, over 2x times x minus 2. After that, since we have now the same numerator, uh, say the same denominator, which is 2x times x minus 2, I will now subtract. Let's see here. Don't forget. 2x plus 4 minus x squared, then minus 2x. Then 2x minus 2x cancel each other. So we have only 4 minus x squared over 2 x times x minus 2. Is it in the simplest form? No, it's not. It's not, thank you. Because 4 minus x squared, it can be rewrite to be as 2 minus x times 2 plus x over 2x times x minus 2. And we said yesterday that we can simplify on this one as an example. 2 minus x with x minus 2, but with negative 1. Or you can take negative 1 as a common factor. So it will be x squared minus 4 over 2x times x minus 2. Then you will simplify them to be as x minus 2 with x plus 2 over 2x times x minus 2, then after that, I will now cancel each other so that the final answer, if it will be here, 2 will be negative 1 times x plus 2 over 2x. Okay? Great then. Yes. Yes. Are you wake up? Yes. Did you have any question or anything for this problem? No. Okay. Now, what is the difference of two rational expressions in the simplest form? State any restrictions on the variable. Let's do, um, here we have x plus half and x plus one. Here we have x minus two times x plus one. Both of them are as easy now. Okay. 
I got the answer A are easy. So, which one did you want to solve? A or B? Right. Yes. What did you like to solve? A or B? Yes, Rahat, A or B? Rahat? Okay, choose one, yeah, you have to solve it. Hey. Hey, yeah, let's start. What do you have to do? What is the first step? Find the least common multiple between the denominators. Thank you, so? We have x minus two and x squared minus three x plus two. The first one. X minus two. And the second one. X minus two times x minus uh, one. Thank you. So the least common denominator. S or R? Yes, I had. Yes, yes, what I'm going to do. Finally. Is it or no? Then yes, So you said before, um, here. You said before here that the least common denominator or the least common multiple are x minus two and x minus uh, X minus one, thank you. Thank you, Rod. Now, here we have to rewrite them. Yes, Lana. Lana? Yes. yes, what is the next step? Teacher? Yes. Teacher, can you read anything important to say? Because now I entered. Here, not nothing, just we have to subtract like the same steps as uh, for adding. The first step, find the least common multiple, then we will subtract the same steps. Let's see this example. We solved only problem uh, three, and now we go talk about this uh, this uh, graphic. Yes, Lana. Lana. Yes. Yes, Lana. Here, what is the next step now? What? Divide. Divide? Divide what by what? By two and both sides. What? By two and both sides. By two on both sides. Why two? Why you choose two? Why 
Are you with us, uh, Lana? Yes. Did you understand the previous problem? No. Why can you? Why you didn't tell me? Hey, thank you, Lama. Lama. Yes. What did you have to do now? We will multiply by x. Okay. By x minus one. Thank you. We multiply here by x minus one. Shall we, shall we multiply the numerator also? Shall also we multiply the denominator? The numerator. Yes. Yes. What about here? The second one here. I'm talking here about this expression now, or this rational. We will factorize it. It's factorized. Look here, to the, go to the first one. The first one, I have x minus two. He need, or the, I mean the rational expression, it's need x minus one. I will bring, I will pick up x minus one from my bag and give it to him. The second one, I'll, I go to him, I, I went to him as it is. I ask him, what did you have? He told me he have x minus two and he have x minus one. So I didn't have any extra thing to give it to him. So I will not add or multiply anything to him. Keep it as it is now. Then after that, let's multiply x uh, squared plus three x minus x minus three, which way? x squared plus three x minus x minus three over x minus two times x minus one minus x minus two times x minus one over six x minus seven. Teacher, three times negative one. Oh, okay, no. I was going to sleep over. Now, after that, here we say x squared, what is then with the same denominator? Which is x minus two times x minus one. Now x squared positive three x minus x is two x. Here it's like this. So if you can, or uh, no, I have to repeat something. Yeah. Let's rewrite it as x squared plus three x minus x minus three minus 6x plus 7. Why plus? Because we distribute the subtraction or the subtract into the both 6x and negative 7. So it will be now x squared 3x minus x is 2x. 2x minus 6x is negative 4x minus 3 plus 7 plus 4 over x minus 2 times x minus 1. Can we simplify it? Yes. It will be x minus 2 times x minus 2 over x minus 2 times x minus 1. Let's now simplify it. So the final answer will be x minus 2 over x minus 1. That's how can we find the difference between two rational expressions. Is it clear? Uh, teacher, can you repeat the one that you simplified? Here? From here? Yeah. Okay.
Uh, by the way, uh, uh, the quiz it will be uh, postponed or delayed to the next, yeah, not uh, week four, week five. Okay. Okay. Thank the you. First, okay. The first the first quiz will be in week five. Uh, next week is week four. Yes. Week four. We have three or uh, three weeks or three days only, because on Wednesday and Thursday should be an uh, off because of the national day. Yeah. So let's continue here. Here we have x squared minus four x plus four over x minus two times x minus two minus uh, one. Sorry. Then. Now x squared minus 4x plus 4, I can now rewrite it as x minus 2 times x minus 2. Just factorize it over x minus 2 times x minus 1. Then, can I, can I now simplify them? Yes. So it will be <laughs> x minus 2 over x minus 1. Is it clear now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now, let's now talk about the complex fraction. The complex fraction is a rational expression that has at least one fraction in its numerator or denominator. Complex, it means that we know that in the uh, expressions we have numerator like uh, 3x as an example over 4x squared. Okay. Here in the complex fraction, this one, it could be, sorry, but here, I mean that in the rational expression, it could be number or expressions over expressions. In the complex one, we have numerator over denominator, or you have fraction in the numerator, and it could be also have other fraction in the denominator. Like this one here, 1 over x plus 1 over y over 1 over x, y. Here, x plus 3 over 2 over as a numerator, and 2 over x minus 4 as a denominator. The second, the third one also here. These are the examples of the complex fraction. Now, here now, we have to know or have to learn how can we simplify a complex fraction. Let's see here. Here we have 1 over x plus x over y over 1 over y plus 1. Now, you know that if you have to add 2 plus 3, plus 3 times 5, according to me, I can, I, uh, I didn't prefer to find the least common denominator. Then multiply here by 3, then multiply by 3, by 3, by 5, by 5. If you add two fractions, it's easier for you to use something we call the butterfly way. I don't know if you know it. Here, if you add 1 over 3 plus 1 over 5, just multiply this one times this one over the denominator, like 5 times 1 is 5, 3 times 1 is 3, over 3 times 5 is 15. 5 times 1 is 5, 3 times 1 is 3, then the sign here is plus, over 3 times 5, which is 15. We call that butterfly wave. Now, here now, we have to do the same steps, but with the variables. We will say it is x times x, x squared, plus 1 times y, it is y. Over x, uh, y. Over x, y. This is for the first numerator. Over. Here now, let's multiply them. y times 1 is y, plus 1 over y. Then, yesterday, did you remember I told you if you have a over b 
over C over D. It's equal to what? We say that it's A over B multiplied by D over C. So I can rewrite it as AD over BC without naming. Take A, the first one, and the lastest one, put it in the numerator and keep this B over C in the denominator. So A over B over C over D, write it as at AD over BC. Let's do here the same steps now. Here, I will name it with A. Can you read the last thing you said? Okay, let's see here how to do it. Here we have A over B, which is this one. We'll divide by C over D, like here, this is C over D. The final answer it will be A times D over B, C. Let's name the fractions as A, B, C, D. And so we know the final answer, it has to be A, D over B, C. Let's now rewrite them. Where is A? It's X squared plus Y. Where is D? It is Y. This R will be on the numerator over XY, which is D, times C, which is Y, plus 1. Now, I divide them. I just put A times D over B times C. Then, since now y here and y, they are multiplied, I can simplify them. So it will be x squared plus y over, here we have only x, times y plus 1. Or you can rewrite it as x squared plus y over xy plus x. Is it clear now? Teacher, no, I get confused. So let's do another one. Let's do B as an example here. In B, here we have X minus two over X plus two over X plus one over three over X minus one minus one over x plus one. Let's now go to the first numerator. I can now rewrite it as so x minus two over x plus two over x plus one over three over x minus one minus 1 over x plus 1. Let's now rewrite the numerator and the, the, the denominator after multiplying. Now, x minus 2 multiplied by x plus 1. It will be... x squared keep plus it. x. x squared plus x. The denominator. Ah, okay. okay. For the denominator, okay. So now, here we have x plus 1 times x minus 2 plus 2 times x over x squared plus x. These are for the numerator. Now, down. 3 times x plus 1. minus x minus 1 over x squared plus, uh, sorry, x squared minus 1 only. 
Then after that, we said before that that if you have A over B over C over D, after you retyping and rearranging them, you will find that it is A B over B C. So here is A. Just it mean like A uh, over B divided by C over D, then we will make the multiples and the reciprocal. Yes. So A times D, where is A? It is the, this one. It is X plus one times X minus two plus two X this is A times D. These are multiplying with x squared minus 1 over uh, 3 times x plus 1 minus x minus 1 times x times x plus 1 or x squared plus x. Then after that, let's quickly try to simplify them. It will be x squared minus or uh, plus x minus 2x minus 2. These are now plus 2x multiplying by x minus 1 times x plus 1 over 3x plus 3 minus x plus 1 times x times x plus 1. This one and this one cancel each other. Here now, x squared plus x minus these two x and this one it also cancel each other. Now, as you see from here, we have x squared plus x minus two. Can I rewrite it as uh, x plus two times x minus one? Is it right, teacher? Um, yes. And x squared plus x minus two, x minus two. What have you cancelled? Where, where did you mean here? You cancelled the two x. Yes, two x negative two x with plus uh, positive two x. Yeah, why? It was negative four plus four is zero. Negative two x plus two x is zero. Okay. Then here we have x minus one. Keep it as it is. Over three x minus x is two x. Two x plus four. So I can write as two x plus two. Do we take two as a common factor? Then here down we have only x. Then after that. Let's simplify x plus 2 with x plus 2. So you only have x minus 1 squared over 2x. This is now the final answer for b. Now, let's do this. Now it's, can you uh, go back just one minute? Yes. Why, Rose? What did you want to ask me? No, I just want to capture it. Teacher? Yes? Teacher, can you do another question like got it for? Okay, yes. after we finish this one. Oh, teacher, I'm done. This is one. Okay, like this uh, challenge or this 46, it is the same as simplifying. Let's do it now. Here now, in the electricity or in the circuit, you have something we call that the resistance. Resistance R1, resistance R2, and resistance R3. This resistance, it could be connected by series or by parallel. If they are in series, the, resu the resultant of the resistance, it will be R1 plus R2 plus R3. This one, if they are in series. But if they are in parallel, 
like this one. Here we have R1, here we have R2, and here we have R3. If I want now to find it in parallel, I will say that one over R is equal to one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3. After you did some, uh, uh, I mean, I mean uh, rearranging them, they found that you can find that You can find now the value of them by using the, this formula. This one over one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3. Now, so because of that now, I want now, just to know that if you have a circuit with three parallel series, the resistance R will be one over one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3. Now, let's do A now. For A, he told you that find the resistance of a parallel circuit with three pulps, and I mean they ask you to find the resultants of the resistance of the three pulps that have resistance of five ohms. So R1, here we have like this, five, four, and 2.5. I want now to solve to find the resistance R. I will say that R is equal to one over one over five plus one over four plus one over 2.5. Then after that, I want to add them. For, for to adding them or to add them, sorry, I have to use something, or oh, we called it later, we know it before, the least common denominator. Let's spot number five and four and 2.5. For five, you can say it is, I want to choose to use 2.5, that's why. So I would say it is two times 2.5. And the four, it is two times two. And the last one, it is 2.5. So the least common denominator is 2.5 multiplied by, here we have two and then we have two squared. So I will use only two squared. Just then back here. 2.5 to the power 2. 2.5 to the power 2, why? Because I, I think we take the common with the greatest power. Yes, okay, so one here to the right, to the power 1, to the power 1. Oh, oh okay. Now, here, what did we have? We have five. In my bag, I have 2.5 times two times two. We can uh, say it is five times two also. So here, if we have five, I just multiply by two by two. Because here I have five times two. And if I have only five, I multiply by two. The next one, I have four. So what do I need? I need 2.5. And for the last one, I have 2.5. I need four. So after that here, I will say it is one over two over 10 plus one times 2.5, it is 2.5 over 10 plus four over 10. By now we put the same denominator because we find before the least common denominator. Then let's now add them. 
we have the same denominator 10. 2 plus 2.5 are 4.5 plus 4 is 2 point, uh, sorry, 8.5. Then we know that it is like one over fraction. So the answer is it's reciprocal, which is 10 over 8.5. I will repeat twice. If you have one over A over B, it means that the reciprocal of A over B, which is B over A. Is it clear now? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Let's now do B. In B here, he told you that the resistance of a parallel circuit of three bulbs is 1.5. So the resultant here, we said before that R is equal to one over one over R1 plus one over R2 plus one over R3. He told you now that the resultant here, the R, that's given, which is 1.5. Over, one over. Here, to find the resistance of the two bulbs. So the resistance of the bulbs now are unknown. But you know that the resistance of R1 is equal to R2, because he told you that they have two equal resistance. So I, I name it as, R as an example, or let's name it as A. So it will be one over A plus, instead of R2, I will write over also one over A. And the third one, the resistance of the third one is three ohms less. It's mean one over A minus three. It's three ohms less than the resistance, uh, the resistance of the first resistance, uh, the first, uh, Resistance, yes. So it comes like 1.5 equal 1 over 1 over A plus 1 over A plus 1 over A minus 3. Now, if you look here, it will be 1.5 equal 1 over. Here we have for the first two fractions, we have the same denominator, which is A. So I will add them to be as 2 over A plus 1 over a minus a three. Now, here we have two denominators. They are not the same. So using now the butterfly methods. It will be now. Yes. So I didn't understand the last point. Like one over Which a one? plus one over a plus one over a minus three or nine minus three. From where I bring it? Yeah. He told you here from the question, he told you that the uh, two of them have equal resistance. I mean that the resistance, the R1 and R2 are the same. So if R1 is A, R2, it would be A. If R1 is five, R2, it will be five. The third one, he told you that the resistance is three ohms less. That means if it's five, it will be the second, it will be five minus three, which is two. So it will be A minus a three. So after that, here we have one over these two now. So it will be one, now let's do the better by way, which is two times A minus six, because I multiply two with A minus three, plus A over A times A minus three. which equal to 1.5. Then, 1.5 equal. Now, we say also that, if you know, we say one over A over B is B over A, it's reciprocal. So what is the reciprocal here? It will be A times A minus three over two A plus A is three A minus six. Two A minus A. 3a minus 6, yes. Then here, it will be 1.5 equal a squared minus 3a it's a over... Where bring the minus, a, the minus 6? 2 multiplied by negative 3. It will be negative 6. 
after that. Why you multiply the two by three? Teacher, because it's distributed property. But we have teacher A, not two. Like A no. times A minus three. No, no, no. No, it's two. It is two. This one, two times A minus three. Okay, so not it, A. So it will be 1.5 times 3A, which is 4.5A. I will use the distributive property, minus 1.5 times 6. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 0. 0.5 is a 3. 3 plus 6 is 9, so it will be minus 9. Equal A squared minus 3A. Then after that, Here, 4.5a minus 9 equal a squared minus 3a. Let's move. So you have my now a squared minus 3a minus 4a it will be minus. Uh, A minus three. A squared. Show more. Three A. Okay, over three A. Okay, minus four point five. Minus four point five, so it will be minus seven point five a minus nine equals zero. Now I want now two numbers that if you add multiply them, you will get nine, and if you add them, you will get seven point five. Three times one point five. We don't have what we multi um factors of nine that give us seven point five. Oh yes, I think I do. I did something wrong. I was going to say if. Uh, if you distribute a to a minus three, isn't it supposed to be a squared minus three a? Here, you mean here? Do you mean here? Yeah. How? Why is it three a minus six? Because Teacher, that's what I, uh, I am asking. Like, how is three a minus six? And it is written in the denominator that a times a minus three which is S squared minus 3A. This one, I told you it is one over A over B. So it will be B over A. Here is B, which is A squared oh, okay. minus 3A. Okay, I get it now. And A, it will be 2A plus A, 3A minus uh, 6. It's not three, it's 6. So then 1.5 times 3 is 4.5 A minus 9. Oh, it could be plus 9. Okay, okay. So not wait until A squared minus 3 A. What did I do? I took it from now here. 2 times A minus 3. Which is 2 A minus 6. Plus A times 1 is A. Over A minus A minus 3. Okay, I will go now. Okay. Uh, I will see what did I make a wrong. And tomorrow, inshallah, I will tell you what is the wrong was. And we will continue our lesson. Or oh, the uh, next lesson. Okay?
I will not, I don't want you to waste your breath now. Yalla, see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Thank you.